I want to make a game, but I already signed up for this annual game dev competition. So instead of waiting, I'm challenging myself to start and finish another whole new game in just 10 days before the competition even starts. The first thing we need for our game is an idea, which I asked ChatGPT for. And after reading a lot of them, I went with this one. Basically, you control a cannon that rotates automatically and you have to time your shots to destroy some enemies that will appear in waves. The first thing to tackle is the cannon. So I made this thing to represent it, and gave it the logic to rotate around. Then I made the projectiles for it that you can shoot by pressing the space key. Now moving to the enemies I made this really simple one, that for now just move towards the center of the screen where you are. Then I gave it the ability that any enemy needs, that is to attack the player and destroy it. But the attacking shouldn't be one way, so I made that the projectiles you shoot can damage and destroy them too. For now I'm just placing the enemies by hand. So to change that, I made a script that automatically picks a side of the screen, then it gets a random position along that side and spawns the enemy outside the player's view. That's almost one day gone already, but before it finishes, I'm making the game 3D. So I made the turrets with a box and a cylinder, I turned the enemies into capsules, the projectiles into spheres, and updated the code to work for 3D space. Now is day 2, and we don't have anything interesting going on, so I'm changing things a bit by making that you only rotate when you're pressing the space key, and you shoot when you release it. Oh, and when you press it again, you will rotate the other way around. There's not much to do in the game yet, so my plan is that every time you kill an enemy, you will get some points. When you get some, you will be able to pick one of three ability cards, like in Vampire Survivors. And I will also make that you can pick the same ability multiple times to stack its effect, like in Risk of Rain. But for now, we only have some ability cards that don't do anything. I would have followed the plan immediately, but I noticed that getting surrounded by enemies is pretty easy because the rotation speed of the turret is too low. But instead of changing it now, I'm making another turret that's below you that will help you with the enemies in all directions by rotating and shooting automatically. With that out of the way, I can focus on making the abilities. So I made 4 projectile types. Stun, that stops the enemy from moving for a short time the explosive projectiles that deal damage in a radius after hitting an enemy, the fire projectiles that continue dealing high damage after impact, and poison projectiles that helps the enemy speed and deals a little bit of damage after impact. Later, I'll put some particles so you know when an effect is applied to an enemy. Now that we have something to use as abilities, I made the logic for picking and stacking abilities and hooked it up to the cards that I made before. So now, there are 4 abilities, that basically increase the chances of your next shot being the type of projectile that you pick. And don't worry, I will add more abilities later. Then I added some boring stuff like pause in the game and move on to the enemies again, making 4 types with different stats for health, damage, color and movement type, that I started implementing at the end of day 3 and continued implementing on day 4. The new movement types are the zigzag movement pattern and the other moves in a curve to the player. Maybe you won't believe me, but that took me most of day 4, but I was still able to make the enemy spawn with a set probability and make the experience point needed for the next upgrade a scale along your progress. But those points don't show up anywhere yet, so I started the next day by displaying those in the UI. And that's mostly the core functionality for the game done. But the game looks terrible. Let's make it look good, starting with the enemies. Since we were in spooky season, I made them Halloween theme, so we have a scarecrow, a pumpkin, a cat, and a bat that looks like a phone. After setting the enemy models on Unity, I made the projectiles destroy themselves after impact so they don't go through enemies anymore and made the models for the turrets. I put this circle into the turret you control and it will change its color to the color of the projectile that you will shoot next so you can use the special ones for the closest or strongest enemies. Before making more designs, I made that you can record the longest time survived by putting a timer in the UI. And since I started working on UI, I also made a really simple settings menu and a main menu. There is one thing I use in a lot of my games because it helps a lot with making the actions of the game feel more powerful. The thing I'm talking about is screen shake. I made the camera check when you shoot a projectile and when the projectiles impact with an enemy and that has a huge impact on the feeling of the game already. But to improve it further, I'm adding some visuals on those. So now we have a trail for the projectiles and some particles on collision. Following with the particles, I made some for the enemy states that I showed you before and a particle for the explosive projectiles that works as a visualizer for the radius of the explosion. I can't let another day pass without having some feedback, because it would be too late to implement it. So before the day finished, I uploaded the games to each and you gave me your feedback. The next day, I made a bunch of little things and applied the feedback that you gave me the day before. The highlights of day 8 were making the enemies shrink when hit, spawning particles when eliminated, and display your health and the time to pick an ability on the UI. The game of Game Jam is starting in 2 days, 
and we still have a lot to do in terms of balancing and polishing. So I started by making the icons for the abilities, including the new ones, that I assigned to the UI and on the upgrade cards. The new abilities allow your turret and the auto turret to fire quicker, and the other two give you more max health and health regeneration. Then I spent the rest of the day adding and implementing sound effects and music for the game to make it sound like this. This is the last day. If we are not able to finish the game now, we won't be able to join the game off on time. And it only happens once a year. So I quickly got to the task of limiting the amount of times you can pick an upgrade. After that limit, the ability will no longer appear among the upgrade cards. Then I made a game over screen, made some basic changes to the UI, added some post processing, and balanced the game with the help of the people who were in the live stream with me. And after some time balancing the game, I made a build of the game and I published it on itch.io. It was a really fun experience, especially because I streamed all of the process and it was my first time streaming. And the people that joined the stream were so cool, giving me ideas and encouragement to make this game possible. Even one of you, username Gonex, made a Discord server for us to chat and share stuff there. So, big thanks to Gonex. You're very welcome to join the Discord community by clicking the link that I leave for you in the description. And before I go, I want to thank just another guy, Ami, and Future Creatures for supporting me on Coffee. See you next time in another devlog.